According to new research, people who chat with strangers on the train have a more positive experience than those who keep to themselves. We're joined by well-known people hater Kitty Flanagan. <laughs> Kitty, can the daily commute really be improved by talking to a stranger? Mate, 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 stop everything. Before we go any further, let me be clear, this segment is not for children. If you are under 18, leave the room now, because you must never talk to strangers. No talking to strangers, no getting in cars with strangers, no accepting lollies for strangers. Unless they're chocolate raspberry bullets, because who can resist them? <laughs> right. The research says that almost all subjects in the study reported that talking to a stranger was a positive experience. Obviously, that depends on who the stranger is. I mean, imagine being on a train talking to Joe Hockey, and you really do have to imagine that, because as if Joe would ever be on a train. Only poor people catch trains, because they don't have cars and they can't afford petrol. Boo to poor people. So, if you're poor, why not try this experiment on the train tomorrow? First, flip that seat around so you're actually facing someone. I know, things just got weird. And then give them a big old, hello. <laughs> if you're a bit shy, if you're a bit shy, just wait for another to get on, someone muttering to themselves. Then you just slide on over and join their conversation. Yes, I agree, it is a conspiracy. Underpants are the devil's work. Bananas, bust off, I know, what? Yes, oh, we're swearing now, okay, bosom, bum, shut up. <laughs> that person. If you're new to stranger chit-chat, here are some easy conversation starters. Pew, what stinks? Was that you? Little tip for you. Sometimes it's worth blowing off yourself just to get the conversation started. <laughs> well, how about this little icebreaker? Hello, I've seen you on the train for months now. Would you like to see some photos of yourself? <laughs> you want to get everybody talking. If you want everybody joining the conversation, just lean over and say, hi, I just got back from Liberia. Are my eyeballs bleeding? <laughs> Don't just make friends on the train. Another study found that people who had a chit-chat with their barista found the experience more positive than those who just rushed through the transaction. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah. If I'm standing behind you in the queue, my advice is you don't go getting all Miss Chatty Pants with the barista. Just order, pay and get out of my way. Otherwise, I'll have plenty to say to a stranger and it won't be pleasant. All right, that's it, I'm done. Look out for me on the train, I'm all on the journey.